Welcome back. As schools start to let out for the summer, the question for many districts is how do we continue to feed our kids? The federal government has rolled out numerous programs and funding to make sure children can still get help. But Paula Tupman shows us the challenge is finding families who need assistance to make sure they can find food for their children. You know, I don't think it's any secret that when children go home for the summer, there are some who are going to go home and their dinner table is going to be empty or their lunch table or their breakfast table. They don't know whether or not these kids are going to get a meal or a regular meal or a balanced meal. And so school districts are looking for creative ways to feed children like this program right here. Help yourself to what's here. Got yeah, carrot guys, apple. Wanted, hungry children or those who just want a good, healthy, balanced meal. Okay, green beans? Yes, green okay. bean taker. This is the Utica Community School District's second stop of three for the day. Four days a week, they make food something to look forward to at this mobile home park in Sterling Heights, where free food is available for any child under the age of 18, no questions asked. We know that when they go home, there might not be things available for them. We're not sure what's going on at home, so we know that school can be a great refuge for them. It's a great place to learn about healthy eating, fruits and vegetables. They can try different things. We try to do different fun things like purple uh, cauliflower, we'll do rainbow carrots and call them magical rainbow unicorn carrots so we can get things out there. The Meet Up and Eat Up program is funded by all of us. The federal government taps into our tax dollars carrots, good choice. to help feed children. Last summer we served about 69,000 meals. Um, during the school year we actually served 2.9 million meals. The USDA tracks this data and in 2020 numbers indicated that the national average of food insecurity hovers at about 10.7 percent of which Michigan's families remain closer to the 11.8% mark. We're so security. Martha is a great grandmother with a house full of people this summer. I'll have chocolate. Chocolate? Including three great grandchildren. They eat a lot. <laughs> they want a lot of food, you know? You know, and you gotta make sure you have extra food and that, so this is lots of help. I don't have my cereal ass again. And apples. And this one meal is a big deal. Baby carrots, good choice. I think it helps out a lot. How so? Just, you know, for... If food is so expensive these days, a lot of people can't afford it. And yes, the children look forward to it and love it. I hope they have popcorn chicken. Why are you so excited about this? Because they're giving out free lunches and they give them for free. They don't give you any fees. They don't give you anything surprising. They give them for free. Yeah, you know, there's a conventional uh, phrase that a lot of these kinds of programs use and it schools out foods in. This is just one program being used by Utica Community School Districts. But and, and by the way, this is a program that's in quite a few school districts. There are lots of different kinds of programs. Uh, Pamela, here's the important thing. Families who feel food insecure for their children, just contact your superintendent's office or your food service office and ask them and, and they should be able to direct you to a food program that's going on over the summer months. Kids don't have to go hungry. They just have to know where to find the food. Pamela. A great resource and certainly a lot of great, uh, great information there. Thank you, Paula.